Hey everyone, today I have the Speedo Teamster Swim Backpack. Of course, you can technically fill it with anything you want, but they are designed with swimmers in mind. I have two of them here because I have one in the 25 liter capacity, the blue one on the right, and then the one on the left is the 35 liter large adult size capacity. So this video is going to be part one of my comparison and review. This one is mainly the review portion uh, where I'll be running through the pockets and features as well as my thoughts on this particular Teamster bag. And then the second video following this one will be mainly comparing the two sizes, um, what they can fit in each one, and then ultimately which one you should buy. So the Teamster model from Speedo is something that has been reiterated several times. This particular version was first available on Amazon anyway in 2013. So if you owned a previous iteration of this, there are a few changes that you may want to think about and I'll be mentioning that a little bit later in this video. But the Teamster name is because this is geared for swim teams. So they come in an assortment of different colors so you can match the team color that you need for your swim team. And of course your personal preference if you're not on the swim team team as well. So now I'm going to move on to reviewing the Teamster bag in general. If you already know that you want to get a Teamster bag and you're just looking for the comparison portion of which size to get, you can watch my part 2 video of my comparison and review. The link to that will be in the description of this video, also at the end of this video as a thumbnail. So now in this part of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and give you an overview of the pockets and kind of the material quality of choice. Uh, I'm just using the 25 liter one just as an example, but the pockets are and features are identical between the two bags. The 35 liter one, of course, is just a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive in terms of retail price. So starting off, it um, has quite a few exterior small pockets. The bulk of it is, of course, in this top loading main compartment for the bulk of your items. So starting off with the front mesh uh, pocket here. Um, of course, on top of the um, Teamster logo, you have the mesh and the zipper is kind of enclosed, hooded over like this. This is kind of help prevent any water from gathering in the mesh compartment. Um, and you can see that it's actually a very big pocket. It goes into the interior of the main um, portion of the bag, as you can see here. So you can load it up with maybe your dirty laundry, your, your dirty swimsuit, um, wet goggles, wet swim crap, that sort of thing. So it allows you to have some ventilation there if you so choose. And then just above that, um, where the Speedo logo is, nice, bright, and centered, um, is another small pocket. I like that the Speedo logo is very clear, so in case you guys care about um, what brand you're repping, it's right there. Um, but right inside, you can see there's a key fob if you want to use it like that. And then there's two smaller, um, simple um, inside pockets. You can also put, you know, better for organization, smaller trinkets that you want to put in that particular outer pocket. And there are two dedicated slots for pens or pencils as well. But otherwise, this is a very shallow outer pocket. It doesn't go and obstruct the inner compartment at all. And then here, moving on to the side, we have a single um, deep pocket. It's again onto the side and doesn't protrude into the main compartment. There's actually a inner mesh pocket as well so you can divide and sort out some other small items. Personally I like to keep my shower stuff here like travel size shampoo and, and body wash and stuff like that just on the side. And then moving on to the side there's actually this other small pocket just above close to the top of the bag. It's really really small especially on the 25 liter one. You can put probably one little small thing there. Um, maybe extra goggles or something like that. And then underneath that is just the water bottle mesh pocket here. This water bottle compartment is quite sizable. It's able to hold up to a 32 ounce water bottle as shown here on the 25 liter Teamster bag. And you can imagine it can hold even more on the larger 35 liter bag or goggle and swim cap just because it's another um, mesh compartment that can ventilate. So moving on to the front, you can see there are two plastic loops that you can hold your swim meet tags right up front. Um, and you can also hang your combo lock, which is what I do as well. So now let's move on to the main compartment here. It's a, this is the only compartment that has dual zippers. All the other pockets only have one. So it's convenient. Um, it's again, top loading and right there hanging and removable is a built-in dirt bag. So you can put you know, your, your dirty socks or or something else, it's really not that 
big, so you can't expect to put your whole assortment of dirty laundry in there. But it's nice that they kind of come with one. And by the way, all these zippers are plastic, even though they look metallic, so you don't have to worry about them rusting in the wash. But now moving on to the largest portion of the bag, I will be packing this one as well as the 35 liter one in detail in the part 2 video, so make sure you check that out. Um, but inside it's very simple, it's pretty deep all the way down to the bottom, and then there is a laptop sleeve. Um, doubt anybody really will use it for laptop carrying purposes, but there is an additional separating inner pocket that you can use to organize, again, more stuff. Moving on to the back side, you can see that there is this slightly padded handle here, a little bit less padded than most backpacks in my opinion, but it gets the job done. Um, you are able to of course use it to lift the backpack up and also to hang it in a locker for example. And then if you put the straps to the side, there's actually another compartment um, on the back side here. Um, by default, it holds the bleach chair seat that comes included. It's kind of nice where it's just a very simple foam um, piece with the Spigo, Speedo logo. And then the Speedo logo is kind of color coded to the color of backpack that you have. So you actually have a blue one here and then on the red one, it is red. Um, you can use it to, I guess, fit a bigger laptop if you so choose, or anything else, really. Now, taking a look at the back end, it is covered in mesh. It has a strategic design so that it's helped to um, promote airflow so you won't have a sweaty back. Or if your back's already wet, it won't, uh, it'll quickly dry. The straps are a bit on the narrow size, which I do prefer. You can see the Speedo logo on one of them, and they both have a little plastic loop just like in the front to hold more tags. Um, here on the left strap, if you were wearing it, is a small cell phone mesh pouch, though I doubt you can fit today's cell phones, but you can fit whatever you want there as well. Um, the straps, uh, soda straps come with a chest strap buckle that's adjustable. Same thing with the waist strap as well. So this may be useful. Um, if you want to just have a more close to the body feeling for these bags, they can definitely get kind of bulky if you really pack them up real good, especially on the 35 liter model. So there I've gone over every component of this bag. Material wise, as you can imagine, it's super water repellent. I don't want to say waterproof just because I'm sure if you really submerged it, water will eventually seep through, you know, zippers or whatnot. But for the most part, the material overall is very much water resistant. The very bottom of the bag, uh, it has kind of this rubbery touch to it. That is definitely waterproof, so you don't have to worry about water seeping in from below. Um, but otherwise, it has this single reflective element strip right here in the center of the bag. Unfortunately, the logos aren't reflective. I personally would have made them as a little bit of a a tip for them maybe when they're designing their next iteration of the Teamster bag. Now speaking of iterations, if you're one of those people who are coming from a previous version of the Teamster bag, you may be a little bit disappointed with the new design. Um, it's definitely much more of a vertically oriented bag um, as opposed to being wider. So as a result, a lot of things you might have to fold in a certain way in order to make it fit properly in the bigger compartment. And it also doesn't happen to sit up by itself even if it's packed so I don't know how many people really care about this but it was enough that some people actually wrote about it in the review on Amazon so just it kind of falls over if it's just sitting by itself but otherwise there's also one other thing that they are missing for the new version and that is dual mesh pockets on both sides I would have liked to see them have that for sure because having one big water bottle mesh pocket I would like to use it as a water bottle pocket but oftentimes like I said I end up using it for something else like flip-flops or goggles and swim caps so it'd be nice to have another mesh pocket so I can put those things and use the water bottle compartment for water bottles. So now you've seen what this bag has to offer from my personal experience I had no problem with using this day in day out when I go in for my practice swims. Retail price of these are in the $60 range, but I did manage to snag this for in the 30s um, Black Friday. So as usual, I'll put the product link in the description if you're interested in either one of these. And if you are, of course, interested in me stuffing these in the comparison between what these two can hold, definitely watch my part two video.